Revlon's new super rich mascara. There's a lot of living you can do with this great new mascara. I wondered about that. I thought that was kind of a drab package for... Oh, dear. Is this boy cut out for this work? My, my only guest uh, tonight has a kind of um, staggering reputation as an actor. Uh, when he was just beginning, rumors of his talent began to percolate through the business. Yeah, he also has a slightly startling reputation as a somewhat of an eccentric in his behavior. Um, in case you've forgotten, he made uh, a number of brilliant films, to name a few, Beckett, Lion in Winter, Lawrence of Arabia, uh, and um, on stage, he's played almost everything from Look Back in Anger to Hamlet. Uh, one thing you may not know about him is that he introduced the song, Oh, My Papa, which you associate with Eddie Fisher, but he actually did in a play of the same name. Not his greatest contribution, of course, that, that song. He has a new film called The Ruling Class, uh, which he does some just dazzling things, and it opens this week in New York. He uh, has been described at times as uh, the world's best actor, by actors who ought to know. And um, he's also been known as Richard Burton's drinking buddy, which is staggering in itself. Will you welcome, please, the remarkable Peter O'Toole. right now. Very nice to see you. I know how you must hate this. Uh, the first thing that's on my mind, and forgive me for opening with this, let me get it out of the way, is that there was an incident some years back where you um, appeared on a talk show <laughs> um, <laughs> quite briefly. Um, to, to give the news slowly, you came out, uh, said a couple of words, and presumably passed out. Um. Yes, it, it, it was in New York. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the I can't remember the gentleman's name. The host? Is he still in the business? Uh, uh, I, I truly don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I could tell. Talk about butterflies. Uh, I've got armor-clad bats. <laughs> 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 uh, that, that will all I, pass. I, I, I went on to, on to the show, mm -hmm. and, uh, I was asked a question, which I answered, I think. I don't know what I said. I don't know what I'm saying now. Um, <laughs> and I was asked another question, which I believe I answered. And I woke up in a dressing room. <laughs> My glasses were broken and I was replaced by a talking dog. <laughs> yeah. Lucky they had one there. Uh, what, uh, there isn't a dog under here. No, no. You can keep the dog quiet. Uh, like the... But uh, how do you explain that? What was it? Was it an actual faint or? Oh, well, I tried to pretend it was uh, compounded with uh, a flight I'd made from Japan, mm -hmm. which is that curious thing where one leaves Tokyo on Monday and arrives in Los Angeles on Sunday. Uh, but in fact, it, what it is is, 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 I suppose, uh, shyness, uh, nerves, which, and I suppose that shyness and nerves are, in fact, uh, the ultimate in, in vanity. Because they, it, if one is shy, it, it assumes that someone is looking and listening and caring and giving a damn. But in fact, probably nobody is, uh, is either looking or listening <laughs> or caring or giving a damn. That's a very good way to think of it. Yes. It's best illustrated by a, uh, uh, a very eminent uh, English theatrical producer who was pathologically shy. Mm -hmm. uh, and he would refuse to go to any parties. 
he was invited to a country house, a rather grand country house. And all his friends persuaded him to go. And he finally went. And during dinner, did all the wrong things. He, he passed the salt and dropped it into the soup. And, and taken to bed that night, uh, he hadn't got the nerve to ask the butler where the lavatory was. The and bathroom, he, we say here. The bathroom. Yeah. Well, it wasn't a bath he needed, actually. No. Um, <laughs> And, um, it wasn't to laugh himself either. No. <laughs> and during the course of the night, he uh, wanted to go to the bathroom. And uh, uh, not knowing where it was, he didn't even know where the light switch was. And so he was stumbling around, and he knocked over what he assumed was a, a carafe of water. And, oh dear, done it again. And went puttering down the hall trying to find a, a light switch. He found the light switch, switched it on, and all over a, a, a 17th century fresco were inky hands. Oh. He'd knocked over an inkwell. Uh, so he went back into his bedroom, packed a bag, three o'clock in the morning, and left. <laughs> and, then his friend said, you, no, you must go back and explain this. It can happen to anybody. And, and he's a very reasonable man, and he'll understand. Uh, it was about three months later, he did, in fact, go back to the country house and uh, knocked on the door. And there was a formidable butler again. And he said, can I see Colonel Breach-loading <laughs> Staircase, whatever his name was. <laughs> He said, yes, sir, do go into the gun room. <laughs> so he went into the gun room, and there was a large chair, and he lowered himself into the large chair, and on the large chair was a poodle, <laughs> which he sat on <laughs> and killed. <laughs> So he left again. <laughs> and the, the poor colonel arrived to find a mangled poodle <laughs> and no explanation. And, and, that, and that's how you feel tonight. That's how I feel. Oh, I see. There isn't a poodle I, on I, this chair. Well, I, I was going to say something. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, that's, that's terrifying. <laughs> we, mm. we, we have a word about a great tasting coffee, pre-measured and filtered in its own uh, filter. New Max Pack from General Foods, and watch where you sit.